homie like a hell cut. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Anno Infinite. Thank you guys for watching some more Infinite Warfare gameplay. I'm pretty sure we're like 25 to 2 or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to improve in Infinite Warfare. I know some people are struggling. Some of my friends are struggling to improve in this game, and I think I've kind of got it down pat. So basically, I'm going to give you guys some tips that you know how to play the game. First tip, do not play this like this is Black Ops 3. This is not a Treyarch game. They play differently. Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and Infinity Warrior games do not all play the same. Play this game like it's Ghost or NW3. The reason why I say play it like it's Ghost or NW3, in NW3, it was more effective to flank. Okay, it was more effective to flank, use suppressors, and get behind the enemy. In Black Ops and Treyarch games, you can go head to head, middle to the map, you can stand your ground, and it's easier that way instead of flanking. You weren't really allowed to flank too much in Treyarch games. That's one of the things I like about Infinite Warfare. I don't like too much about this game, but that is one of the things I do like that you can flank and use suppressors and you don't get penalized for actually using a suppressor like you do in Treyarch games. Another big tip that you should take in mind is. Do not go to the middle of the map. Do not rush into the middle of the map. This is not like Treyarch games, all right? It's more effective to flank, like I said before. The middle of the map is a death trap. Try and stay on the outside of the maps. Stay on the far lanes. Do not go rush up into the middle. It is a death trap. You will die. Most likely, I try my hardest to not go in the middle unless I know that I'll be able to get the kills or my team has pushed up. Don't go to the middle of the map solo. Don't do it. Another tip, use suppressor in this game. The suppressors are actually really good in Infinite Warfare and since the time to kill is so high, the guns are good with suppressors. So utilize that, stay off the mini map, use a suppressor, it's really good. This tip is actually really important because you cannot hear footsteps in the game. So always check your back and check the corners. The reason I say check the corners, this game is basically Ghost 2.0. Ghost in this game is like Assassin Pro from freaking MW3. You can sit in the corner and you will not pop up on the radar. So check corners because I ran into a lot of people camping in the corners if the time to kill is so high they feel like they need to camp in order to get kills. Check your corners, check behind you because you cannot hear footsteps and there will be someone sneaking up behind you and I died so many times from behind if only they would incorporate footsteps in this game it will make it so much better. Another tip is some attachments to use. So basically you want to use suppressor, quick draw, and stock. You need the speed perks. Basically this is like ghosts, how many times I said it. Ghosts. You always want to quick draw, you want to stock, you want it to have speed perks so that you could aim faster, reload faster, all that stuff. You need this in this game as well because it's such fast pace. You need to be able to reload faster, you need to be able to bring your sights up faster, you need to be able to strafe around corners, pre-aim corners. So quick draw, stock, suppressor are really, really good on guns. It doesn't matter what gun it is. I use it on the MV4 Fallout to get nukes. Very, very good on the gun. Speed is the name of the game. Anything that helps you pre-aim corners faster is good. Always pre-aim your corners because again, time to kill is so high, you need to be able to get the drop on the enemy first. You need to put in that first bullet because they will wreck you. The next tip that I have is to try not to jump boost so much. I know it is a jump boost game, right? But I feel like you do better when you drop shot instead of when you jump shot. So I'm trying to incorporate that back into my playstyle because back in NW3, I didn't really jump shot a lot, I more drop shot. But in Treyarch games, I used to jump shot like a motherfucker. So now I gotta retrain myself to actually drop shot. Drop shotting seems to be more effective in this game. Heck, even crouch shotting is more effective. I've died to that too, and it's crazy. I didn't even know of that tactic, but I learned about that yesterday. People have been crouch shotting and it's working. And you can actually hear footsteps when you crouch because you're not hearing your own footsteps. Those are all the tips I have for you right now. Those are the big main tips that I can think of. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out in improving in Infinite Warfare. If you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comments section down below. If I come up with any more tips, I will sure to make a video about this. When the game releases, I will be doing class setup videos, tip videos, all that stuff. Once I get more feel of the game. But right now, this is the basic tips to help you guys get better at the game and retrain yourself to play an Infinity War type game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you will point that like button. It would mean a lot to me if you show some support by leaving that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting close to 900 subs, which is freaking amazing. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.